guys, it's Lauren and I just wanted to film another video. This video is a little bit different this time because as you may know, I went to Japan and Korea last month and since I vlogged about it and since I went to Japan last October as well, I feel like I know a little bit more about it. So this video is about seven things you should know before going to Japan and if you're going to Japan or if you just want to know more things about it, keep watching. So the first tip that I wanted to mention was when you get to Japan, make sure to always stand on the left side of the escalator. I know here in the US that you can just stand wherever, it doesn't matter but it's courteous especially in train stations to stand on the left side because there are a lot of people that are always in a hurry and they need to get past really quickly and instead of like shoving and trying to push through people they just have like one area where they can just go past which is the right side and the left side all the people that aren't in a hurry they just stand there and that's just how it is tip number two there are not very many trash cans in japan you think because it's so clean that there'd be a lot of trash cans but there aren't it's really weird so i suggest that you bring like a plastic bag or something you can hold your trash in so you don't have to be holding it for the entire time until you're able to find a trash can in like a store or a restaurant or something like that tip number three in Japan, the napkins in restaurants are really thin or there aren't even napkins at all and it's just, that's just the way it is. I think because to prevent even more litter, again, because like Japan is so clean, they want to make sure like napkins don't accidentally fall off a table, I'm not exactly sure. But I suggest that if you make more of a mess and you think that you need more than the really thin tiny parchment paper napkins that you bring a small towel with you and then I think it's good to bring the small towel with you because when you go to shrines and stuff you have to wash your hands like you have to rinse them if there's this whole special way to do it you get the water you put on your hands and afterward there's nothing to dry your hands off with so the small towel is good to have tip number four taxis Oh, taxis. Taxis are super expensive in Japan. You go for five minutes and it costs like 10 bucks. It's so crazy. And they don't have many Ubers, so you're out of luck there. So that's why a lot of people either walk or they take the train station. And the train station is a lifesaver there. I used it all the time when I was in Japan, so I have another tip for that. So this tip here is do not use a taxi if you don't need to. Only use it if it's your last option because <laughs> it's expensive. Speaking of train stations, it's the best mode of transportation in Japan unless you have a car or someone that has a car there. But it can get super confusing so Google Maps is your best friend and when you use Google Maps it tells you everything. All you need is Wi-Fi so make sure to also have a like Wi-Fi hotspot or sometimes the train stations they have Wi-Fi there. A lot of cafes have Wi-Fi everywhere so just make sure to hook up to one of those. For the train station all you have to do is have your current location and then the destination and then it'll tell you just click on the little bus train icon thing and it'll tell you exactly what train station you need to go to and all the train stations in Japan have Romaji so you'll be able to read which stop you need to go to and then on the train station as well it tells you in English most of the time you'll stop here you'll go here so everything's in English it'll be all okay as long as you make sure to follow Google Maps you'll be able to find your way so the next tip is to make sure to not tip this is a great tip for everybody because everyone knows in the US tips can get expensive but in Japan like a lot of other countries you don't need to and actually if you do tip it can be considered kind of rude or insulting almost so no need to tip there so the last tip I have is to make sure to take off your shoes anytime you're about to go in a home in Japan. I'm pretty sure there are a lot of Asian homes or a lot of homes here actually. You also need to take off your shoes, but in Japan it's like super strict. You have to make sure as soon as you walk in to take off your shoes and go inside. So sometimes they have indoor slippers, which is okay. You can use the indoor slippers when you're in the house, but just make sure to take off your outside shoes. If you enter a tatami room, which is like a bamboo mat room, make sure to take off your indoor slippers there. It's like no shoes are allowed. You have to just go barefoot or with socks. Also, you have to take off your shoes when you are entering a dressing room. I did not know this last time, so then I went in the dressing room with my shoes on and I kind of got in trouble for it, but 
now I'm telling you so you'll know. So that is about it for my video. I hope you enjoyed this different video. If you liked it, make sure to like and comment. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell to watch more of my videos. Let me know if you want to see more like this or you just want vlogs or well, anything. If you have any other suggestions, please let me know. I'd love to know your recommendations. So yeah, thanks again for watching. Bye. <laughs>